Ever wondered how the world's most successful digital product creators are using Pinterest to skyrocket their online sales? Yup, Pinterest is a maze balls for driving a ridiculous amount of clicks and traffic to your online business. It's not that or slowing down, it still works like crazy. So in today's video, I'm going to give you the behind the scenes of my Pinterest marketing 101 strategy that I have applied to my online business that has skyrocketed my digital product sales in only a few months. Now my business success 100% comes down to leveraging Pinterest. So I want you to tap into that gold mine too and make your very first digital product sale from pinning ASAP. That's good? Okay, then let's dive in. So when I started blogging back in 2009, I think, I was this happy, naive soul. I set up my blog and created my very first few posts and was just waiting for people to pour in and come say hi and enjoy my life with me on my blog. But that didn't happen, did it? When I hit publish on my very first post, absolutely no one showed up. Zero. Nada. Crickets. When I started, I thought I just had to post stuff on my website and people would kind of just magically show up. Well, they didn't. I was crushed and I just didn't understand what was going on. Did my stuff just suck so bad? Did I do something wrong with the website, like technically? Nope. Here's what happened. No one knew I even existed. No one saw my things, finding my stuff. It didn't even matter whether I was putting out amazing content or things that sucked, I just disappeared into the nothingness of the internet. And you know, maybe this sounds a little bit familiar. Let me know in the comments if you've posted something online and literally no one seems to even see it. It's frustrating, right? Now, what I realized back then was that I needed to promote my content. If you build it, they will come. That's just not true. So what I did is I put my head down and started to learn about marketing. Yep, marketing. How to actually promote my stuff free and paid online to get in front of those people. And you might be saying, I hate marketing or I have no idea about marketing. And I didn't either, but here's the thing. When I discovered Pinterest marketing to promote my free and paid content, everything started to change, like everything. I suddenly started to see my numbers go up, my clicks growing, my audience grew, and with that, the sales of my digital grew as well. Marketing and promoting your content Free and paid was so crucial for building this business. So if you're like me a couple of years back and you're like, oh my God, marketing, no way, then I 100% know how you feel, but believe me, you got this. Marketing and specifically Pinterest marketing is the best thing that you can do for your content, for building an audience and for selling more of your digital products. Like what would it mean to you if you would start seeing those Google Analytics numbers on your website go up day by day. Like what would it mean to you to get that first email telling you someone just purchased your digital course or ebook? I know what it meant for me and believe me, this can be you too. So before I jump into my A to C strategy, make sure to check out my totally free freebie download I created for you, the ultimate Pinterest marketing starter kit. This guide really breaks down how to leverage Pinterest marketing to promote your digital products and services and get started on Pinterest as a business. I walk you through my easy step-by-step -step process on how to get started. It's the perfect beginner overview of the whole process, the first steps I think are best for you to take next, and some sneaky strategy tips that have helped me get started with Pinterest marketing. Now, you don't need to do this alone. Like, I'm here for you. You can skip the messy middle and grab my secret strategies and tips and go right into exploding your traffic and clicks to your digital products. So grab your free Pinterest marketing starter kit below. It's a perfect addition to this video and what to do next. All right, now let's jump into this. First of all, why Pinterest? Why not Instagram, TikTok, or Google? What are some advantages of marketing on Pinterest and why do I believe it's the best, easiest, and fastest way to grow your traffic and income in your online business? Now, Pinterest is easy. Like, believe me, if you think about Google, it takes hundreds of posts and sometimes years to get some serious traffic. Not with Pinterest. Pinterest works for beginners. It can work even if you have only a handful of posts and you can get results like in something like 90 days. Also, Pinterest is 100% free organic traffic. 
if you want to. Like the strategy I'm about to teach you requires you to spend zero dollars and get more clicks and people to your site. Like when I started my online business, I didn't have a ton of money for ads and you don't need to waste that money when you leverage Pinterest. Next, the return on investment, your ROI on Pinterest for the, your content is like 20 times the ROI you get for other content you create for social. Like a pin can live on Pinterest for months, like even years and bring in traffic. Like what's the shelf life of an IG post? 24 hours? Like if I'm taking the time out of my busy day, I want it to have the most effect and bring me the most traffic for as long as possible. And finally, Pinterest is a search engine, not a social media, meaning you can forget about the overwhelm and the popularity contest and focus on actual strategies that are proven to work. Like forget about the latest viral trend or song. You can actually focus on things that work every single time. Like I hope this fires you up and really shows you why Pinterest is so freaking amazing for promoting your business. So enough with the chit chat. Let's really dive into how to use Pinterest to promote products and services. First of all, First, I'm diving into the entire flow of how Pinterest marketing works, and then I deep dive into content marketing and Pinterest marketing with some actual strategies you can apply today. Sounds good? Okay, cool. Let's dig in. So how to use Pinterest to promote products and services. So let me walk you through on a high level how marketing and Pinterest works together to get more traffic and sales for your online business. Here's the flow. So step number one, content marketing. You share a piece of content to your blog on your website. This post is the basis for your pins you share to Pinterest. So you write, film or record your post, then you design your pins and then use the URL of that post as the link in your pin. Step two, Pinterest marketing. People use the search function on Pinterest and because you've optimized your pins for SEO with the strategies I'm teaching you on this channel here, your pins show up because it's relevant to their search. They want to learn more, so they click over. Now step three, now that they're blown away by the amazing free value you provide, people may even join your email list or consume more of your free content. Maybe you even leave them with a free gift for a quick win, which builds trust and they actually get to know and like you. Now step four, and voila, the magic happens. You've built trust, established your expertise, and now your audience is practically begging you to work with them. You offer them your digital course, your coaching or ebook, and boom, Pinterest just grew your best. Now that's like the high level flow of Pinterest and content marketing and how to use Pinterest to promote your digital product. So let's first dive into content marketing and then Pinterest marketing and exactly how to use both to promote your digital products. Well, first of all, what the heck is content marketing anyways and how can you use it for Pinterest and grow in your business, right? Now, content marketing is one of the most powerful tools you have in your business. You see, when you create content, you're not just throwing words or pictures out into the world. You're actually trying to accomplish a few things. First of all, creating content on your website provides value to your audience. You're teaching them something new or help them understand a complex topic. Your content can also inspire your audience. It should get them excited about the possibility of what your business and products can offer. And lastly, content also helps you connect with your audience. This includes personal transformational anecdotes or success stories of clients that show that you can actually deliver on what you sell. Once you have your free content on your website, each piece of content can be the source of dozens of your pins. So yep, I'm not spending hours on creating a long form piece of content and then create one single pin and then that's it. No, I literally leverage this in-depth piece of content and then I promote the heck out of it on Pinterest. So literally designing pin after pin. And you might say, but that sounds like a lot of work. Well, honestly, creating pins is so much faster than creating an in-depth blog post or video. I even use pin templates, which means I literally design dozens of pins in an hour and be done for the month. Okay, so what kind of content can you create as the basis for your pins? Basically, any type of long-form content can work. The most important thing is that it is dedicated to teaching people about your business and what you sell. So for example, long-form content can be a 2000 word written blog post, a 10 minute video you embed on your blog post and transcribe it. Or how about an hour long podcast episode that you again embed and transcribe and add to your blog. 
So which one feels like most natural to you? Let's play to your strength. Choose the type of content creation that feels like most natural to you. You want to embed those videos and episodes into your website because that's where you ultimately have the control and can manage what people see, lead people to your email list and towards your digital products. Like if you're creating a YouTube channel, that's great. You're here, YouTube is one of my most successful channels, but then I also have my website where I embed those videos. I don't own YouTube. If you decide to shut down, there's nothing I can do about it. But I own my website. That's why all traffic that I'm generating, I'm leading mainly to my website where I host all my content as well as promote my products. Okay, that's content marketing. Now, how does this connect to Pinterest marketing to promote your digital products? So now that you have your content ready, let's move on to the second part, Pinterest. Again, your content is the basis for your Pinterest marketing and to promote your product. So each individual blog post or piece of content like is the basis for your pins. You can either create pins that lead to your free content or to your paid products. Like it's so important that you're not overwhelming your audience with just pins leading to your paid products. You want to serve free content that educates. I would think I do this about 80% of the time and then 20% talk about my paid offers. So in those 20%, you can create pins leading straight to your products like here. Or because people will pour in from your free content, you can also talk about your paid products on your website, inside your free blog posts and videos and your newsletter. All right, next. Next, you upload those pins to Pinterest. Every pin has its unique URL. So when people click on it, they land on your free content or they check out your product. That's really how to grow your traffic. Those pins are optimized for SEO, so for Pinterest search. We don't want to attract just random people, but people who type in a keyword and are looking for your solution. So like I mentioned in the beginning, like social media, you never really know what's about to happen. Like it could go viral if you use things like trending sounds in a reel, or you couldn't. Like there is so much guesswork involved and so many other factors. With Pinterest, if you apply my SEO strategies to your pins, you're giving this pin a chance to rank every single time. So what are some SEO strategies you can apply to your pins? First, keywords are key. Make sure to add relevant keywords, like for example, gardening tips, love coaching, dog training, that is relevant to your content and your business. Now you want to add this keyword to as many places as you can. For example, the pin title, the pin image, your content title, and your Pinterest board descriptions. Also, I highly recommend you start a Pinterest business account to promote your business. It's completely free, but it unlocks a lot more features like analytics and it shows Pinterest that you're serious about this. And my final tip here is that you want to use text on your pin design. Like Pinterest is not just about pretty pictures. You want to use big, bold text on your pin, letting people know exactly what they get when they click over. So again, think more like billboards than inspirational images. This will all really help you get your pins in front of people and increase your clicks and promote your online course or ebook. Now again, make sure to check out my totally free freebie download I created for you, the ultimate Pinterest marketing starter kit. This guide really breaks down how to leverage Pinterest marketing to promote your digital product and services and get started on Pinterest as a business. I walk you through my easy step-by-step -step process on how to get started. It's the perfect beginner overview of the whole process. The first few steps I think are best for you to take next and some sneaky strategy tips that have helped me get started with Pinterest marketing. You don't need to do this alone, I'm here for you. You can skip the messy middle and grab my secret strategies and tips and go right into exploding your traffic and clicks to your digital products. So grab your free Pinterest marketing starter kit below. It's the perfect next step to this video. And there you have it, my friend. Exactly how to use content and Pinterest marketing to promote your digital products and grow the traffic and income in your online business. I really hope this was helpful. Seriously, make sure to grab your guide. It's so helpful to see this on paper and get down to business. And the most important thing of all is implement. And please, I'm here for you. If you have any questions, I'm so grateful for this community here on YouTube. And I hope this video brought you a ton of new aha moments and takeaways. I will see you very soon in a brand new video and that's it from me for today. You got this and I believe in you. Cheers!